Hey guys, I just thought I'd put together a uh, short little video here. Um, some stuff I've been screwing around with on the Acme module. Uh, just some little experimentation. Um, I started using Google Scripts, um, which can accept HTTPS and GET requests. Um, and which is which is kind of cool because this is the first um, Wi-Fi module like this I've worked with that supports HTTPS, which is pretty neat. Um, so that kind of gives me a gateway to actually trigger Google Scripts. Um, I like Google Scripts, they're kind of neat. You can do a lot of things with them like uh, data logging, sending emails, stuff like that. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you what I got going on here. Uh, I go to my Google Drive and I've got this, uh, this script here that I've aptly named Acme Logger Script. And basically all it does is I got this function do get uh, that will fire anytime this script receives an HTTPS get request. Um, the get request will have an argument in it called data um, and this will get the, the parameter uh, out of that argument data. Um, it'll get the current time and then it's going to log it to a sheet uh, that I created uh, called Acme Doc. Um, if there isn't an Acme Doc already, this script will actually create one. Um, I've already got one because I've done a few, but uh, I have cleared this. Um, so I'll open this up. This uh, will be the sheet um, that my logs go to. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open up my serial terminal here. Um, Open up connection to the module. Yep, so I guess I already had one open. Okay, so we'll do uh, HTTP GET. Um, so it's just uh, oops. Let's try this again. Uh, and you can see at the end there I've got data equals test. I can put whatever I want in here and then just hit enter. And I see I've got a 200 response which is good. Um, so that should have fired my script. I'll pop this back up. Yep, and I can see that uh, at 4.14, 44 p.m. I got a data object that was success. I did notice a little strange, um, I didn't really think of this, but you have to close the, uh, the stream for that, for that uh, TLS, uh, and I think uh, you can list them, what was it, uh, stream underscore list, and I can see that the identifier for it's zero, so I just say uh, stream underscore close zero. That'll close the stream, and at that point, I can do another uh, HTTP GET and pass it something different like uh, test two. And it looks like that worked, and yep, I do indeed have test two here. So um, this is working pretty well. the The script is really short, simple. Um, this is what gets fired. Um, it will call fetch doc, which basically just returns that uh, Google Sheet object so that I can actually write to it. So this returns the sheet. Um, this is the function I call to actually, I call sheet.append row, and then I send it a uh, sheet object, the time, and the data. And then this little function here just gives me the current time. Um, so yeah, it's working pretty well. Um, I think it would be really cool if we had some kind of a mechanism, uh, some sort of a transparency mode, I guess, um, where any data that comes, I could, a setting so that I could tell the module that any data it receives on the UART, I want it to basically do an HTTPS call. Um, so maybe in the configuration, I would define a parameter for this URL and then 
data equals, and then anything that comes in the UART would just be appended after that equals sign. Um, it would also be cool if the stream did close on its own on an HTTP GET. Um, I don't know if you guys have a particular reason for holding it open. Maybe you do, um, but maybe that could be a setting also to automatically close, and maybe that's one of the arguments when calling HTTP GET that I just didn't notice. Um, but yeah, this is working really cool. We've got a series of products called the Push Notification Series that basically take contact closure and output data whenever an input status changes. Um, it's really, really solid firmware. Uh, basically, it outputs a string of data. Um, some of it's user configurable. Um, contains the MAC address of the device um, that's sending the data. Um, the previous status of the inputs. Um, prior to the input status change and then the current status of inputs um, and it works really well. Um, if I could get this Wi-Fi module to basically work in what I'm calling HTTPS get uh, transparency mode that would be awesome. So I just thought I'd shoot this over and kind of show you guys where I'm at. Um, like I said I'm just using Google Scripts here for experimentation purposes but um, works pretty good for that. So that's about it. You guys have a good weekend.